right now, uh, my style, I will say, is I go about it in a suave way. <laughs> GQ, possible. yeah, GQ, smooth as possible. And then, you know, when I get in the booth, I gotta listen to my voice. Do I kill it, yeah. or do I chill it down a little bit? Okay. And then you have someone. What is? What do you mean by kill it and chill it down? Like, like as a tone of voice? Tone of voice, exactly. Because I can be like, I came up in this, you know, something yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I came up in this. Yeah, yeah. I had to let her know. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. the difference yeah. between it. And then she, she be like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> cool way, right there, because then that'll make. The, Make them real excited. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, okay, well, why not? Let me go ahead and do it that way then. Uh, Most definitely. Strictly for the ladies. That's what's up. Yeah. Most definitely. Um, a message to the fans and the listeners. I will always stay true to myself, and any other artist should always stay true to themselves, no matter what. There's going to be people out there that like your music and yes. people that don't like your music. Yes. That is the first and foremost thing that we all have to understand as artists. Yes. It's always a 50 50 chance. You might feel it. 120% that this is the best record out. <laughs> There's going to be some people that feel like your music is trash. And yeah. you just got to be willing to understand that like, and accept it. Yes. That's, what I, that's another thing. Like yes. Criticism. And don't let it phase you. Yeah, you can't let it phase yes. you, bro. Like, and if so, you're just not cut out for this industry, right? Right? That's yeah. exactly. like, <laughs> like, You right. need to hang those cleats up, bro. Yeah. Like, go sit down. Yeah. Hang up the microphone yeah. and just sit down, bro. Drop your beats and... <laughs> You know, just, just just shut it all the way down. Because you're going to end up encountering these issues, right? Always. And then people are going to question you about, oh, you're still in this person's style, you're still in that yes. person's style, you sound like this. How do you feel about when people yeah. compare you to that? If so, you know what? People have compared me to LL Cool J, and they say, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel great. Yeah. You're <laughs> right. a freaking legend. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Like, if anybody came up to you and be like, hey, you remind me of... E40, yeah. like, even E40, I would be like, damn, yeah. like, I'm not going to take that as no diss or anything. I would be like, like ugh. Right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, what is that? That's my own language. You better go pick that up. That's Lee West, you buy Four, five, six. <laughs> well, all different barcodes. Shout out to him as well. But um, uh, back to what you were talking about, man. Um, um, in criticism. How, 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 do you, how do you let it not face you? It's just like I said, you got to go into it knowing that people are going to have their own opinion. Yeah. Know? So I take it as a negative criticism. Yes. I take it as reconstructive positive criticism. Mm -hmm. That's how I do it. You know? like, yes. It's like, oh, I, I don't like the way you did this. Like some people, the songs that I have here today, they yeah. like all four. And there's some like, oh, you should have did this differently yeah. than this. But when I went to the studio, this is how I felt about that. Right, you know? right, like, right. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Yes. I'm not going to let it make me or break me. I'm yes. going to let myself make me or yes. break me you know yes. and then when i fail that just shows me room where i need to improve at. yes basically bro that's how i take it most definitely man so um let's get those contacts man uh, that was a lot of game right there uh <laughs> facebook youtube twitter email website instagrams and all the good stuff what would that be all right youtube you can go ahead and type in that www.youtube.com backslash young west three and then for the ig is team west music page Team West. Again, that's Team West Music Page yes. on Instagram. And then for the Facebook, you got Lee West Jr. That's the same as my Twitter, <laughs> Lee West Jr. So you go ahead and type in the www.twitter.com backslash Lee West Jr. And then you have the Facebook.com backslash Lee West Jr. Yeah. And I even have my own website you can go ahead of. Yeah. That's LeeWestJr.com. You know, it's Lee West Jr. Google that. Man. Just Google me. I'm everywhere. I'm trying to do this. Yeah, okay, so real quick, man. You know, I know some people want to rap about some gangster stuff, being hardcore and all that. Um, and, and, and you being saying softcore, like doing it for catering to the ladies, which I, I like that because we're on the radio. Yeah. We, we, we cater to the women because, you know, we want to make it more for everybody yeah. as well. But um, uh, has anybody been like, oh, man, you need to go hard? Or or how did you, or, or do you just like, you, you just do you? All my friends, they listen to me. IG, yeah. listening to everybody, you know what I'm saying? They need to be rating women, making them feel like nothing, and this and this yeah. and that. But that's just the, that's the gimmick. That's, that's, the gimmick, what, that's yeah. how they doing it. That's, what, that's their style of rap. And mine is to empower women, make them feel good about themselves. Yeah. Like my Bow Flex song, baby, get out here working out. You know what you about, you know? Like, yeah. that's just my approach to it. Everybody got their own style, they all got their own approach. Yes. And mine is to make sure that they feel good. <laughs> so when, I, when I'm on my Tyrese and LL Cool J mix vibe here, like I'm rapping, that, you know what I'm saying? Might get sexy and seductive for them. Yeah. They better be ready for it. And then my homies, how they feel about that? Some like it, some don't. They like, bro, you too soft. I'm like, but the ladies love it. That's all that matters. I'd rather have, I'd rather have a club 
full of women than a club full of dudes. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, At the end of the day, that's, you know I mean? come on, bro. I, like, I, that's what I'd rather have. I'm, I don't know about everybody else. I'm glad you're rocking with me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have the same thing. Bro. Most definitely, man. Let's get to some shout-outs before we get to the music, man. Shout some people out. Um, I'd like to shout-out my boy Brandon, my girl Ashley, my sister Lucree, my Rams, Diane. I'd like to shout-out. There's a lot of people. My little cousin Hosea. Uh, I'd like to shout-out. My boy Tay, bro, for helping me out last night with all this information last yeah. night. My boy Ridge, uh, Rod, Ramon, Rail, everybody, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm hollering at everybody, the whole Brookfield, you know what I'm saying, 9800, yeah. BJB all day, Dame Lillard out there killing it for the Blazers, you know what I'm saying. Shout yeah. out to everybody and my little brother, Drake West. What he up? holding it down, too. He just got back out here in the Bay from LBC. Nice. Um, so welcome him home, you yes. know what I'm saying. He be hanging out with Russ Rook, you know what I'm saying. Uh-huh. Why not, team, why not, you know what I'm saying. We all doing it out here. And yeah. I'm just happy to be here with everybody. Thank you all. Yeah, most definitely, man. I'm going to get, you got two songs here, both flex. And I've grabbed your bags. Uh, uh, give me a quick description of what they about, who produced it, who's on it. All right, so Bowflex, uh, CT Beats broke that. My boy uh, Clarence Thomas, he did that for me back man, a long time ago. But, uh, originally, it was two people on the track, and we were just messing around with it. My boy DeAndre, uh, I'll give him his credit for the part. And then I was just like, let me go ahead and take this music thing to another level. And yeah. I was like, let me go ahead and do this right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and after that, I pushed it, everybody loved it, so I wrote two more verses to it, and that's what that came about. That song is about working out, you know. <laughs> People that like to stay in shape. It's January coming around. You yes. know, everybody like to have those New Year's resolutions. I want to be fit. I want to be right. Yes. So this song right here, that, that, that's the one. You Work know? it out. Like, I gave a shout out to Obama. I gave a shout out to Osama in there. <laughs> like, all of the us. Like, all of the us, uh, bro. <laughs> you, you, when you listen to it, you'll see it. Ain't Wow, even Pocahontas got a shout out. Wow! Just <laughs> so shout out to Pocahontas. All right, yeah. Most definitely. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna get to this music right here. Uh, we're gonna go to two before. Uh, let's get to these commercials first. Okay. Um, anything else you want to say before I hit this commercial? Oh, shout out to my uncle Tavion. Man. You know what I'm saying? He helped me out a lot. Just seeing everything that he done. Yeah. Right. Before they get to the commercials, 89.9 FM. We're right back after these.